Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. A few years ago, Janet Folger, now Janet Porter, wrote this book, The Criminalization of Christianity. In it, she exposed the plan of the left to seize control and to force a godless humanist agenda on all Americans. And the only way to accomplish that is for them to destroy the Christian faith in America. Now, not all wars are fought with guns, and this one has been a relentless attack through left-wing courts, left-wing educators, left-wing politicians, and especially the homosexual movement. Knowing that Obama, the most immoral president in history, will <laughs> probably not get a third term, the God-haters are launching an all-out assault to finally make the open practice of Christianity a crime in the USA. One of the main thrusts of this assault on America is the push to change homosexuality from being a sin against God to a civil right, thus opening a Pandora's box of civil and criminal charges that can be brought against Christians in the corrupt courtrooms of the left. We Christians have been far too patient with this national march to immorality. We have tried to have a live and let live attitude. We wouldn't bother them if they wouldn't bother us. Big mistake. Now they are coming after our Christian businesses, our churches, and worst of all, our children. The U.S. Supreme Court will soon rule on gay marriage, even though they have absolutely no authority to do so. Ignoring the Constitution is the standard practice of the immoral left, another thing that we should have never let them get away with. Well, here's a wild bill bullet of truth. When the Christian faith becomes outlawed, it's time for the Christians of America to be outlaws. Many of the great heroes of the faith lived as outlaws in godless cultures, thus honoring God with their lives. Well, it appears that that day is coming to the USA, a time to stand up and let the Supreme Court and elected officials know that we are still one nation under God, no matter what the cost. The storm clouds of persecution are forming, and this message needs to ring out all across America. If you would like me to come and speak to your group or church, then click this link, or go to my website and click the Book Bill button. Christ said for us to let our light shine before men, and it's time to light that torch right in the public square. This is Wild Bill for America. Thanks for watching, and America bless God again.